Swedish Talk Entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob, and we are going to do some game talk. You're watching me playing Dark Souls 2, and a couple of things actually, pretty cool stuff. Now, obviously, the other day I mentioned that there was a, an exclusive PS3, um, excuse me, PS3, PS4 uh, Watch Dogs trailer for the content that's coming out for the game. But finally, they released a pretty comprehensive trailer on the game. It's about three and a half minutes long. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, look, game looks good. I, I, they give detail on how the game plays, how big the world is. You know, if it's as big as they're selling in the trailer, I gotta say, it's, it looks like it's gonna be one of those games that just are, just, I mean, go on and on. And it does very much look in the likeness of Grand Theft Auto, obviously with computer hacking and things of that nature, so I'm very excited for that game. I really want to check it out. Obviously, we all love Grand Theft Auto, so um, Watch Dogs, as I said, they, they have to get this right um, after delaying the game. But I definitely go check out the trailer. It's really, really... If you don't know too much about the game, and I really haven't up to this point, as much stuff is out there about it, sometimes I try to fall back a little bit on reading too much about a game, uh, simply because I don't want to spoil anything. But considering that the game's not too far away, when I watched the trailer, I, I did hear a lot of good things that I liked about it. Um, you know, obviously, the online stuff, which everybody knew about already. But the fact that pretty much any NPC in the game... Uh, you can hack into their life and you can find stuff and i'm wondering if that's going to leave a lot of doors open for extra missions or just extra stuff to do uh maybe not every character you hack but maybe a, a couple of key ones so it's kind of cool because then it's going to give you an idea of uh, outside of your major missions you'll be able to go and just do some side stuff and just kind of create your own side quest maybe i'm wondering if that's going to be like a, a nice feature of the game so very much looking excited uh excuse me very excited for uh, Watch Dogs when it comes out. Now, um, another game, another thing I heard today, and this is pretty big news, is that uh, The Last of Us is going to be coming to the PS4, which for me, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little happy about that, but a little disappointed because I actually own it for the PS3. But the thing of it is, is that I'm, I, I have so many games that I play at many different times, and sometimes I'll stop one game to play another, and then stop this game to play another, so I actually haven't had a chance to finish the Last of Us, and I already know what's going to happen. Now that I know it's coming out for the PS4, I'm not going to continue playing it. I'm just going to wait till it comes out to the PS4, re <laughs> repurchase it, as dumb as that sounds, but I really would like to see, and, and it all depends. If it looks, if I see that the game looks significantly different, or if they do something different with the game, then then I'll definitely buy it. Uh, if it doesn't look too too much better, and there's nothing extra, or, you know, and I, I'm, almost, I'm almost sure they're going to add in some extra stuff to entice people who already have played and own the game to buy it again. So before I finish the game, I'm going to hold off a little bit longer. I want to see uh, when this game is going to come out, if they're going to add some new stuff to it, and how it looks in comparison to the PS3 version. And then I'm probably going to get that and then play the game from that point. But uh, yeah, so The Last of Us coming to the PS4. Very excited about that. Good stuff. And um, so that's another game, obviously, to look forward to. Now, uh, we were talking about Assassin's Creed the other day, Assassin's Creed Unity, which is going to be strictly for the PS4 and the Xbox One. So it seems like the PS3 and the Xbox 360 are going to get one more Assassin's Creed title that's supposed to lead into uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. And um, that one is Assassin's Creed, I believe it was called Comet, or at least that's the title that I saw in the article that I read. And uh, that's supposed to be coming out this summer, I believe, and it's supposed to carry into uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. So, lots of Assassin's Creed action coming on. I'm not going to get into the whole thing. I already, you guys already know how, about, how I feel about Assassin's Creed. Uh, while Black Flag has been a fun game to play, uh, you know, it's a lot of Assassin's Creed titles in the last couple of years. So, and then, um, for, for you guys who like Titanfall, obviously you've seen me play it here on the channel. You've seen some of my footage, whether it's a Let's Play video that I've done here or there, or just some video footage of me playing while talking about games. So, I guess there was a lot of cheating going on. Now, I never experienced it myself. I, I, I never felt that any of the matches that I played in, somebody else was cheating, but apparently, strictly on the PC version, uh, there's been a lot of cheating going on, and they're, I don't want to say they're cracking down on it, but what they've done is they basically have merged all the cheaters together. So if you, you know, if any, anybody who's played the game that's been cheating, now they're just going to be playing other cheaters, and that's it. So, <laughs> it, I would like to at least be a fly on the wall when that happens, to see how some of those games turn out, uh, see who has one advantage over the other, but interesting stuff but uh anyway guys that's it just some quick game stuff 
a very exciting news for those who like The Last of Us. If you're interested in getting it on the PS4, I know I will be if um, if I think it's worth it. Uh, once I hear more information, Watch Dogs, I'm very excited about. Well, whenever I do, when that game comes out and I do some video game talk on my channel, you can definitely expect to see footage of that. And speaking of footage, next week when I do uh, talk about some more gaming topics, you'll probably see some footage of me playing some Diablo 3 with the new expansion. I do have a level 60 character in that game, and I really haven't touched it ever since I beat it. And then did some minor, you know, farming for armor, but at the time I was playing, that wasn't really feasible. So I'm pretty excited to see what the changes are. It's been a while. So I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do a playthrough and tell you guys what I think as I play the game. If you guys want me to do that, just let me know in the comments below. But that's it, guys. Just a little bit of game talk, a little bit of quick update for those of you who didn't know. Um, I will leave a link in the description for that Watch Dogs extended trailer. It's about three and a half minutes long. Hopefully you guys like that. And that's it. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob, and we are going to do some game talk. You're watching me playing Dark Souls 2, and a couple of things actually, pretty cool stuff. Now, obviously, the other day I mentioned that there was a, an exclusive PS3, um, excuse me, PS3, PS4 uh, Watch Dogs trailer for the content that's coming out for the game. But finally, they released a pretty comprehensive trailer on the game. It's about three and a half minutes long. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, game looks good. I, I, they give detail on how the game.